Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Uh, please excuse my hair, they're still wet. I did have a shower this morning, but it does take a while for my hair to actually dry. So please, I don't mind that. But in today's video, I am doing my empties. So if you're interested in seeing uh, what I used up in the month of December, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's talk about hair care because it seems I have the most of that. Maybe, or it's just the easiest to take. So the first thing I used up is the Garnier uh, Ultimate Blends Hair Food Banana and Shea uh, Mask. I do really enjoy them. This is the second one, third one that I've used, I think, this year. Uh, and I love them. I will repurchase them whenever I find them on offer. I usually go and take... Uh, take one and use it up because I just enjoy the way that it makes my hair feel. Plus it is very, um, it has a lovely scent. That's what I was meaning to say. Then I used up the Chlorine Radiance um, Conditioner for color treated hair with pomegranate. Uh, this was nice. I did really enjoy it. I would consider repurchasing. However, I did run through it very quickly. It has 200 mils of uh, product in it, so kind of a standard size, but I would prefer a little bit more because I do have a lot of hair. Uh, so I would consider repurchasing, but I, I, I haven't yet. And you know, I'm not going to specifically look out for it but it is a nice uh, product then i also used up and my dog bit through it this is the deva curl one condition decadence ultra moisturizing milk conditioner for curls now i don't have curly hair but i was in a pinch and i used up my conditioner and i was wanting to go to a shop to purchase a new one but I hadn't uh, done that yet, so I had this little sample. This is really nice. I know I don't have curly hair, but it did make my hair feel very soft, very lovely to touch, and yeah, it was just a nice uh, conditioner. I probably wouldn't repurchase because it is not for uh, my straight hair, but it was fine while I had it. Next up is skincare. Uh, so let's just go in the order that I see them. Uh, I used up the Avant uh, Supreme Hyaluronic Acid Antioxidizing Duo Moisturizer. I had this in my skincare project pan, which I don't do anymore, actually. Actually. <laughs> Uh, Mango wants to uh, take my makeup and taste and just shred them to pieces, right? Because that's what you do. Uh uh, can you do that? Touch them. Every. Okay, be right back. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Avant Moisturizer, I did really enjoy that one. Uh, it is one of the good stuff from Avant. But definitely not something that I would repurchase because of how crazy expensive these products are. Then I used up these Lancome Gentle Makeup Remover Milk with Papaya Extract. Uh, this was fine. I did use it to remove my makeup and it worked very well. It was very effective. Uh, it's very expensive though, so if I can get a sample, I would get a sample, but it's not something that I, you know, go out of my way to uh, repurchase myself. Okay, we're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have a problem. Next up is uh, this, uh, the Soap Room Daily uh, Facial Cleansing Oil. Uh, it was very good at its job. It removed my makeup. It helped to remove my makeup uh, very well. But I do find, I'm out of it, but I do find that this particular product is very hard to remove its res res residue off. So you would have to go maybe two or three times after using the, after using this with a cleanser like or a milk cleanser or a gel cleanser to actually get rid of the oily residue that this leaves so because of that I probably would not repurchase however I did like it and it you know did its job next up I use this little sample this is from Vita masks and uh, this was a part of like a three-step sheet mask uh, this is the step one oxygenating matcha clay facial scrub this was a one-time use this was fine uh i don't necessarily remember it doing much this was supposed to bubble, bubble but i don't i don't think it did honestly it was fine it, it was a, an okay scrub then i also used up this nail bay origin gentle facial toner a nice toner just basic everyday simple and that's all i really need from my toners to be honest just to kind of 
prep my skin for the skincare that I'm putting on after. Uh, I also use up this little sample of the Timeless Truth Mask Amino Acid Mild Facial Cleanser. I wasn't a fan of that because it smelled like straight up soap. Like, you know, the old school kind of grayish soap. This is what this smelled like. Not my favorite, I have to admit. And lastly, I used up this by Terry Bonder Rose Hydrating Rose Mask. This was actually really nice. I did enjoy uh, while I had it on my face. It was one of those uh, sheet masks that were split into two. So you had a top half and a bottom half so you could cover uh, your face more comfortably. So that was that was okay. I have two miscellaneous things. I have the Mitchum 48-hour uh, protection powder fresh roll-on antiperspirant and deodorant uh, this was fine I, I I wanted to find the one in the stick but I couldn't find it at my local shop so I had to go again with the roll-on and the one with the orange kind of sticker or the yellow sticker is so much better than uh, this one so I don't think I would purchase the powder fresh version of it but the other one I think it's called clean fresh is a lot better works very well to keep my you know uh, underarms uh, without any sweat and i also have to uh, throw away this sponge this is from pennies it comes in a two pack uh, because it started to get uh, black dots on it which is a good indication that this needs to go i will repurchase these pennies ones because they are actually very great they are very soft they expand and you know it's not like you're hitting your face with a rock when you're using them because they actually do uh, become very soft after you um wet them and last but not least i have four makeup products and one skincare slash makeup products that i do count in my makeup empties so the first thing is a, a lip gloss so this is the essence shine 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 lip gloss in the shade i think it's 07 i had this in my uh, handbag probably for the past half year and i did manage to use it up look at all those windy i did get everything that i could out of it without taking the stopper because i find that taking out the stopper from lip glosses is not a good idea so i tried to get mu as much as i could without taking the stopper and i'm just calling it done and i am so happy about, about that because i don't think i had used up a lip gloss oh no i did i think i did this is, it might be my first or my second lip gloss that I finished off in 2021, which is so exciting. But yeah, I'm very happy about that because I did get them in college. And like I said, I finished college in 2017, but I got them before that. So uh, they're very, very old. Next up is a uh, lip liner. So I actually wanted to put this one in my shop mustache to use it up. So I went to sharpen it and yeah. The tip just broke off and there isn't any more product in there so yeah that's all used up this is an essence lip liner just you know their standard wooden ones they're fine i i don't mind them they are a little bit more on the stiff side but you know for like three or four euros or however much they cost they are definitely worth it uh i'm also considering this an empty this is the lancome de finicile uh, mascara i did notice that it started to irritate my eyes um <sighs> maybe two days ago i thought it was my contact lenses and i did change my contact lenses uh, but my eyes were still irritated so i guess it's time to call it quits at the beginning i did not like this mascara because of kind of how simple it is it it wasn't really doing much for my eyes but then after it started to get a little bit more older a little bit more thick um it started to give me a very nice volume on my eyes it's not one that i would repurchase because um i don't like buying high-end mascaras i don't find the point of it because you do have to replace them every three to six months and yeah i'm just not about that life but i did enjoy it while i had it um also i am calling this an empty because i am not about to take it out this is the sports fx uh, lip balm i mean it's all level with the packaging so i am not going to dig it all out i used as much as i could this was not my favorite lip balm i used it on my work desk 
but that's about it i would not consider this a uh, favorite or anything like that i just had it i used it and i would not even think twice about it anymore and i also used up another lip balm this is the uh by b or bye bye uh plumper lip balm i got this in a glossy box Oh, eons ago and I finally managed to use it up. I did enjoy it. It was very nice. It had the consistency of the Dr. Papa but it had a kind of minty sort of effect on the lips that kind of plumped them but not really. It was just a very good, very uh, pleasant uh, lip balm to use. I did enjoy it. It's not something that I would repurchase but it wasn't bad at all. But that completes today's video. These are all my December empties. Uh, please watch out because my makeup empties are coming as uh, soon where I will talk about all the makeup that I used up in 2021. And it's going to be so exciting to look back at you know how much makeup I actually did use up and I will give you if I can find the retail value of all these products then I will give you the retail value as well but I'm just I digress because this video is not about that anyway if you enjoyed my empties then please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this but yeah thank you very much and I will see you in the next one bye Mwah.